Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Commander Clash. This week is Anything Goes, what's the crew bringing to battle when there's no deck building restrictions? Let's find out. Hey it's Phil and today I'm playing Grizzly Bears, meaning that every creature in my deck is a 2 mana 2-2. Two -two. I'm also gonna give them weapons so you could say... They're executing their right to bear arms. Hey everyone, it's Richard, and today we are playing the best companion from Baldur's Gate 3, Shadowheart. Now most people like to build Shadowheart as like a cleric deck, but we're going full trickery domain, adding blue and doing some milling. Yo, actually what's going to be on the menu today is going to be all of our opponent's mana bases because we're going to have our opponents swim in the fishes. Our whole deck's point is to turn their lands into islands. So we've got seize claims, Quicksilver Fountain, we're getting Island Walk, we're going straight to face, and of course, you know, messing with their mana base just a little. It's not LD. I'm Seth, and I'm going to be doing some voting and making opponents face some villainous choices with the Veil Yard. This show is brought to you by our sponsors. You can purchase all the accessories we use on the show over at UltimateGuard.com, and you can purchase all your cards over at CardKingdom.com slash MTGGoldfish. You can also support us by buying merch at our merch store at MTGGoldfishMerch.com and like and subscribing to help the channel grow. All right, with the intros out of the way, let's hop into the game. Three, two, one. Crash, Crash on. on. Crash on. <laughs> all right, what do you got? Yeah. Bro? I got a planes. Oh, first of all, I draw a card. I don't think it changes my planes. Go. Draw. Oh, this is the most Richard mana base you've ever seen. Okay. Myriad landscape. Tafland pass. I will draw, I will play a Urborg and pass the turn. Everybody say it with me, because it's going to hurt. Clash on. It's be mega ouch. Mystic Sanctuary, turn one, go. <laughs> oh, Don't worry, <laughs> The Richard ouch. technique. <laughs> I, I may have had one, too. <laughs> I, 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 I'm sandbagging it. All hopes that we draw three more <laughs> islands. I, I All right. I, I, I just got two drops in this deck, it feels like. Makes sense because the theme is two mana two tools. Grizzly bears, we call them. Here's one of them, my commander. Wilson Refined Grizzly. Can't be countered. And it has Vigilance, Reach, Trample, and Ward 2. Go. That is so much text for a grizzly bear. That's a lot of keywords. Yeah. I think that defeats the <laughs> <Yeah>. purpose. <laughs> a lot of keywords to <laughs> still just be a two two. <laughs> All right. Uh, got, I am going to things. lightning bolt myself by playing this Agadim's Awakening as a land. Nice. I'm going to go to 37 and tap two mana, play Thematic Compass. So I can pay three, tap it to search for a basic land, reveal it, put it in my hand. And then at the end of my end step, if I have seven or more lands, it turns into a maze of it that taps for mana. Go set. Okay. All right, okay. I will draw a card. I will play a Thespian Stage and pass the turn. All right, I'll unrest my land, and then I'll draw a card. God, get these uh, dawns out of here, Krim. I'm going to play <laughs> another Castle Vantress, another dawn. All right, so everybody told me that this is worth a shot, right? So I'm going to try this. It's the whole reason why I kept this hand. Back to basic. Founding Conundrum. Oh, yeah. Hey, they're going to uh, play Ramp today, but they should be no one's playing Ramp. Against... <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. you know, we're going to see. I want to kill so, Oh, I have oh, a Myriad Landscape. It does shut down the Myriad Landscape, so it does it do does. something. It actually does do something. I pass. Wooded Bastion. Okay. Does anybody um, got a fetch land? <laughs> well, fetch lands are off, too. I, I don't play a single ram spell in this deck. I fetch guess, lands I guess are they play slow. the Sword of the Animus. Uh, I'm going to swing in at Krim. Okay. <laughs> gotta get you. Two commander damage for yeah, Krim. Yeah, and yeah. then I'm going to dip, dip to green a Grizzly Scavenging bear. Ooze. Yeah, it's that's kind of cheap. Two mana two two. That grows though. I mean, I play <laughs> all the available bears that are two mana two twos, and there's more than we had on Magic Online. But uh, yeah, I gotta. Yeah, you get two hundred. I think it's oh, your go, Richard. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I was lamenting over confounding conundrum. Uh, <laughs> How are you lamenting this? What have I done? It's I hate that the, 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 the mono landscape. black deck is is what this shuts down. Okay, Seth, are you unhappy with confounding conundrum? Guy. I don't especially care at the moment. Well, actually, no, I am a little bit. What? You are? Okay, I'm going to give you some firepower in case you're not happy. Okay? All right, yeah, help help me out and there, Richard. We're, we're buddies now, right? Yeah, so we're, we're friends. Hunted horror. <laughs> you had a 7-7 seven, seven oh, trample. God. When it enters oh. play, put two 3-3 three, three green centaur creature tokens protection from black into play under target opponent's control. Hey, Seth. 
I just would have you like some you... centaurs? I would. Why would you I give just... that to Seth and not me? You got the Gazzandi <laughs> Conundrum <laughs> that's shutting us Although down. I can't play They're coming me. at shut you. Who down? Uh, you can go ahead, Seth. Oh, look at that. Actually... They, they basically have haste too. They can attack this. Yeah, team. they can get in right away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, uh, hey, I, I, look, I, I'm going to quickly exit this game one way or the other, I guess. I, the <laughs> thing is, like, so I'm going to draw for my turn. The thing is, Krim's got the confounding conundrum, but Phil, there's one lesson of this season of Commander Clash, which is you got to you gotta go with Phil when you got the we, chance. He can double block, though. Wait, what, what are the. What yeah, are but the if he double blocks his commander. Terrible. <laughs> I'm going to tap. I'm going to play a Shipwreck Marsh. I'm going to tap three lands. I'm going to play. A, a Frexine Arena, just a little <laughs> right. little card draw, and then Richard gave me these centaurs for a purpose, and that purpose was to attack the confounding conundrum players. Okay, so like, sure. Trim, <laughs> thirty-two. Sorry, taking you six, got it. buddy. <laughs> All right, go ahead. All right. Blame Back Richard. He's the one Grim. that gave me the centaurs. Blame Richard. <laughs> I, I didn't want to even attack you. <laughs> So maybe confounding conundrum is bad because no one's even like a ramp deck this week and it's still drawing a ridiculous It's turning off a one million landscape. I'm unhappy. Yeah, <laughs> I, and I got like a Solomon commander. hand, so I'm like, Go I got to get that off of So there. you just play Swaybun? Yeah, it's that's it. My time. I, I, don't, I don't have anything to do. I had, I just uh, played a looter and I was like, I assumed yeah. everyone was playing green this week. I mean, I am playing green. Well, okay, yeah, surprisingly, you're the only green ramp. player <laughs> and we're up against a Grick. Dude, it's 2024. We ramp in all colors now. I guess that's fair. Since this con confounding conundrum kind of shuts down land ramp, I guess I can <laughs> safely play this without any effect. That's a Knight of the White Orchid. Just a 2-2. Two -two. It's a 2-2 two -two first okay. strike. Oh, yeah. two -two. We love it. We love it. <laughs> can I confundrum uh, has shut down the Knight of the White Orchid, my mirrored landscape, and Seth Solemn. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it actually is kind of wrecking, even in not, a non-ramp meta. 90% of this deck is two drops, I think. So uh, here's another one. Dawn of a New Age. When it enters the battlefield, mm -hmm. uh, it enters the battlefield with a counter for each creature I control. That is three. And at the beginning of my upstep uh, end step, I uh, remove a counter draw card. In the last one, I sacrifice it and gain four life. I'm also going to swing in here. Uh, I think I go two for Seth for commander damage and two more just... Just regular damage. So swing for four. Two of those. You will regret Boy this, Will. That, I will take that and and I turn, Turning sure off that Phyrexian Arena. You want him to die drawing cards. <laughs> <laughs> and then in my end step, I remove a counter from this and draw right. a card. And hey, I yes. Oh, no. Not this card. Crack the myriad landscape. <laughs> Just for I'm science. Going not even, uh, I'm going to not use this to search up the Ooh. land. We got to work our way up. Okay, I'm going to take this. Uh, I think this is Transformers <laughs> Island. I'm going to shuffle after this. I'm going to play Demir Aqueduct, returning <laughs> uh, Agadim, the Undercity MDFC thingy, past the turn. All right. I will untap. I will draw two cards because of Frexian Arena and lose a life. So Solemn's not looking too hot at the moment. Thanks, it's toxic Grim. Damage, isn't it? <laughs> Is it damage uh, for two to send a message? <laughs> but damage for two just like Rex Phil, although he did attack me what for message? no real reason. Uh, what the uh, Richard, for seven. Richard, with his cunning politics over there, played the 7-7 seven, seven Trample, <laughs> made me attack Krim to draw aggro, and just made, left his 7-7 seven, seven Trample back. Didn't even, me, yeah. didn't, even, didn't even attack anyone with his 7-7 seven, seven no, Trampler. No. <laughs> I'm going to cast a Plea for Power. So Plea for Power is one of my voting cards. I am a, a Valyard voting deck, after all. So it has Will of Counsel. It says, starting with me, each player is going to vote for Time or Knowledge. If Time gets the most votes, I get an extra turn. If knowledge gets the most votes, or if it's tied, I get to draw three cards. I mean, I think I got to vote time just on the off chance it works. I expect I'm getting cards <laughs> out of this. You can go. How many cards do you have in hand, Seth? I have five cards in hand. All right. Yeah, you can draw three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you can, I, I vote for you to draw three. Yeah, you can draw. You draw three? All right. I will draw three magic cards. You know what? I'm just going to discard the, the solemn. Go ahead. All right. Krim, would you like to pick up your confounding conundrum? I'll let you do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a bit unfair. I wonder if people play just random house rules. Like, I'll, if everyone agrees, you can just pick it up. Like, okay. <laughs> Maybe we should back to basics him. He only has one basic. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah we're actually yeah. terrible. Not here. I'm going to play Silvergill Adept, and I'm going to reveal to you <laughs> Empress Galena. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, uh, so I'll. I'll draw a card. Okay. Well, tap land is better than no land, so 
<laughs> I'm going to play Glasspool Mimic on its land side, so Glasspool Shore. I guess that's all I've got. So you need two fish to be indestructible? Two other fish, right? Zebulon yeah, other, kind of other fish. Yeah. Other okay. fish, yes. Yeah, it's yeah. my turn, right? Yeah, it's, I'm done after that. All right, draw for turn. It's a land. Oh, it is a land. He's a command tower. Yep, attacking is over, I guess. That was bad. <laughs> <So> <laughs> the Chris, the Chris um, have been foiled by, by three, three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what I... So uh, that's why it's grizzly bears with weapons. So I do have Ooh. equipments in here because I kind of figured that two twos won't get the job done. Here's another grizzly bear, though. This one is really technically a grizzly bear. Glimmerlands. It has four Mirrodin! Exclamation mark. When it enters the battlefield, I create a... 2-2, two, two, and I paid two mana for it, so that's a grist. Hey, yeah, right it, it counts. <laughs> and whenever it gets equipped to it, and whenever a crypt creature and another creature, at least one other creature attack, I draw a card. I am going, not going to attack, and I am just going to pass into my end step, remove a counter, draw a card, and it's Richard's turn. How many cards do you have in hand? Five. Seven. I have seven. Fear deck is pretty good at drawing cards. Yeah, that's kind of what we do over here. I want to play Shadowheart, but I don't want to get Toxic Deluge. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so worried about a Deluge? <laughs> I kind of want my commander. I don't want her to ruthlessly <laughs> die two seconds after her appearance, like our Baldur's Gate playthrough. Would I? Uh, <laughs> ah, that was kind of on us. I think we murdered her for no reason. Yeah. Okay, I am going to play Can't Wake Up. Okay, this is an <laughs> adventure. Wake me up card. inside. So target Don't player mills four cards. I'm going to mill myself. From bring me uh, increasing Ambition is a flashback card, by the way, that just hit my graveyard. So this thing is in exile. I'm just going to stick it here for a second. Uh, it's on an adventure. I'm going to play Shipwreck Marsh. Uh, we're just going to hang back on defense. Uh, Rich and is going to crack that, that uh, Myriad landscape. <laughs> I'm going to think about it. <laughs> go ahead, is it go ahead. my go? go all right ahead. we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna untap so we will once again from black with those right you could technically punch richard <laughs> draw two he gave him to me though draw two lose one thanks to frags <laughs> is that gonna is that gonna save him the whole game i mean it's only like turn four right something like that i'm mean, yeah. turn five i guess i got five lands Look, if I'm you attack play... me with those hey, you wait, know you'll so never that, get you have an island again, right the rest of the season i do now have an <laughs> island cool all right i'm gonna tap two lands i'm gonna play a talisman of indulgence taps for red or black if i take a damage one two there's a lot of creatures on the battle phil's gonna draw some cards and pop off he's gonna grow that ooze we gotta do what we can <laughs> <laughs> we have a seven seven draft <laughs> you, yeah, know how many to eat? <laughs> you know what it seems like y'all want me to wrath now. Is I mean, you're saying you but, want but me it, to date but I don't. I don't want because I was gonna do something to Richard, but it's cool, dude. <laughs> so you're not coming at me then, Krim. Is that what you're saying? I told you, you're not coming I told at you me. Whatever I'm oh. doing, I'm not doing to you. We okay. learned never okay. to trust Krim. That's what I've learned. He always does stuff, and then we always get wrecked. What? <laughs> trust Krim. I'm you know what? Very honest. <laughs> after Every after all of this debating, I'm just gonna pass the turn. Go ahead, Krim. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna catch spreading seas. Ooh. Can you spread seize my myriad landscape? I'm going to target Phil's planes. <laughs> oh. Crim yeah, making all, all the enemies spreading seas. Making all <laughs> the enemies. I'm going to play Metallic Mimic. I'm going to name Merfolk. Did you that draw for spreading seas, Yes, I did. I do have a spreading seas in my collection. Nice. Eight. A fancy one. Well, uh, this Band one on went to modern tournaments with me, so... <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you playing any Grixis Control? What are you, you playing Fish playing, and Modern? I was, playing, What's going I was on? playing Blue Black Control, you and I was get kind those of Tron looking lands. Tron, so I played more get them of Tron these. Lands. Since Phil's already kind of done the Spreading Seas for me, I'll just move this off to the Yeah, yeah I mean, it's on this. Remember to yeah, count yeah. Devotion correctly. That is actually relevant. <laughs> yeah. I'm not joking. That is relevant. Phil, I'm going to attack at you for three, and I'm going to draw a card. No, no, I take three commander. I did not shuffle well, so I'm going to go ahead and go to discard. As much as things change between Moto and Paper, something that never changes is criminating his land drops. I appreciate that. It's, 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 <laughs> it's, it's familiar, nostalgic. Honestly, nostalgic. I yes, like to be back. consistent. That's the kind of guy I am. I'm going to pay two green and activate Scavenging Ooze two times. Exile target card from a graveyard. If it was a creature card, put a plus one plus one counter on Scavenging Ooze and you gain one life. I'm going to do that two times. Yeah, I guess Richard's uh, too useful cards get about okay. it so i gain get one counter and one life i'm gonna throw away mystic reflection Go oh ahead. i love that card i do too but i i think this is gonna be one of those games where i'm gonna die <laughs> yeah i'm going to tap two 
to equip the Glimmerlands to the Knight of the White Orchid. And then I'm going to swing with these two at Krim. Yeah, I'll take four. four and five. then I get a trigger and draw a card. Don't know how I've become the arch enemy, but I love this. <laughs> I don't know why you're hitting me. I just hit you and did all the stuff to you. Don't worry. <laughs> it's a buried ruin. Then I Very think I'm just going to yeah, go look like in an and pass the turn. And then this one loses the last counter, all right. goes into the graveyard. I gain four life and draw a card. I compass and for an island. <sighs> Phil's board's getting big, but he's leaving up mana. I bet Phil has... Do you have Toxic Deluge protection, Phil? They do. This is why you get them yeah. uh, early. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just, I guess clever consumer. Yeah. Teferi's Pro. And I play this in every wedding. I don't play Teferi's Pro, but I do play clever consumer. Oh, do you not play? Oh, no, I have stopped playing uh, Teferi's Pro a long time ago. Krim, are we friends? Yeah. Why? I kind of want something what? from you, though. Okay. <laughs> what, what, do you, what does that mean? But you're going to be upset with me. <laughs> are, you, are you stealing his Zebulon or something? All right, we're just going to try. I don't know. This is just for science. <laughs> Somehow I got Arch Enemy and I've done nothing. I'm also okay. mana screwed. This is Captain uh, Megathrod. <laughs> Five yeah. mana, three, six. Horrors you control have menace. When a horror you control deals combat damage to a player, that player mills that many cards. At the beginning of your end step, choose target artifact or creature card in an opponent's graveyard that was put there from their library this turn. Put it onto the battlefield under your control. Now, Hunted Horror is conveniently a horror. And you're going uh, to hit me, right? I'm just clarifying right now. Phil gets a fairy's pro. He's got a bear. So force him bear. to do it. <laughs> I'm at 27. <laughs> you have juicy merfolk. But we're cool. I just want some value. Yeah, what, I have a what are you, you going to do? You're going to steal my oh. merfolk? Yes, scavenging goose too, so he can stop this from happening. We'll see what comes up here. I I'm going to hit Krim because I think he has the most valuable fishies over there. How much do I mill? Seven. It's like Seven. a sort of body mind almost. You mill oh. Seize Claim. Reflection of Lichara, Mist Dancer, Biden of Thassa, Mana Drain, Island, Sea Hunter. Okay, I'm going to take Biden of Thassa. Do we want Richard to have a Biden though, Phil? You can pay a single green mana to get rid of it. Yeah, I guess I got to do it. Funny enough, I only milled an island. Yeah, I excited. <gasps> you know My what? My whole deck is countered. There's graveyard hate. There's <laughs> ramp hate. Land drop, go. I'm going to use my Thespian stage to uh, copy your bounce land. So I'll have a Dimir Aqueduct. And then I will untap. And we will draw two cards and lose a life thanks to Phyrexian Arena. Phil's not tapped out and he has the biggest board. I'm afraid of taking damage. I'm I'll afraid it's too alone. late to do Wrath, actually. To be clear, I don't even know if I would. I'm not going to stop you. <laughs> Wait, how are we feeling about a Wrath then? Do y'all want a Wrath? I don't, I don't want if it. If it's a toxic damage that kills the commander. Not really. Ah, uh, the captain, though. Like, is that a problem? Captain's a, a problem. Oh, but a friend of mine has this you're, you're, as a you're it's going like to you... mill 10 if I hit you with both creatures. You know what? Get Whatever. our stuff. You all can you, figure just, this just, out. Look, you can do it for seven. I don't care. Do it for seven. Lightning Greaves? How about a Lightning Greaves? That's not dangerous. No, I'm not going to wrath. I'm going to let you guys sort that out. I'm just going to tap all five of my remaining lands, play my commander, the Veil Yard. The Veil Yard's kind of cute. If you face a villainous choice, you face it twice. And if we vote, I vote twice. And then I'm going to attempt to put Dust Boots uh, or Greaves on the Veil Yard. And then cool. I will play a Xander's Lounge as my land for the turn. And go ahead. All right. This is a new meta. We've entered like turn five or something without a wrath going off. <laughs> no wrath. Uh, yeah. I'm going to send Spielun at Richard and I'm going to just draw what a card. What is it? It's a three, four. You could block it. I just need a land. I block with my captain. You got it. It's indestructible. They bounce. All right. Grim, I'm a one piece deck. I'm a pirate deck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I drew I'm my fifth land. I'm going to be the greatest pirate in the world. I'm going to play Thada Adele. Uh, Ooh. Oh, yeah. I feel like uh, that is so underrated. And this enters with a 1-1 one, one cap. Yeah, it right? is. It is. And it has Island Walk as well. So if he hits us with it, he gets yeah, to cast yeah. an artifact from He gets to steal an artifact from gets our to steal an artifact. Play it, yeah. I'm going to have to spend get two on green mana. Yeah, I still got to spend the mana. And I'm going to exile two cards from graveyards. Uh, do you have two creatures in your graveyard, Krim? Yeah, I have a Sea Hunter and a Mist Dancer. Not anymore. Okay. Two, my my Solemn's not getting any that. respect. Not even good enough to exile anymore. Ah, uh, then I'm gonna untap. Oh, can we, can we finally be, be cool, Richard? Untap. Can we finally be cool, Richard, or what? I, I'm, I'm cool with you. I haven't been doing anything to you. I just wanted oh, to steal yeah, some okay. fish. Oh yeah, you just clocked me for seven and tried to steal my stuff. Okay. I guess just, I'm just gonna. Could just wrath. 
How about Triumph that? of the Horns. One, Kill everyone. Two, <laughs> three. No triumph in this deck. Four mana. A Guardian project. Whenever a non-token creature enters the battlefield under my control, uh, I draw a card. Yeah, just pass. You guys all suck. <laughs> oh, wait, did I not play a land? Oh, wait, did I forget to play a land? Uh, I, sorry, I, I play a land. Sorry. Sure. Uh, sure. The classic. Well, is that ramp? Do we count that as ramp? You have to bounce a land back. Sorry, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it's Shadow Heart time. Uh, if you didn't kill her immediately in our Baldur's Gate playthrough, you would realize she's a pest girl. <laughs> Krim, meet your mother. 3 4, legendary creature, human elf cleric. I can pay two mana tap, sack another creature, draw X cards where X is that creature's power choose a background. I, I think I cheated last, whenever I put that island into play, because I had a bounce land, I think I played an extra land. Oh, so, so I'm going to oh. undo my land drop for this turn and D we should be back. DQ. To DQ. Dude. I'm going to untap. It's okay. I'm Moto gonna... would have crashed. I'm going to draw to you. <laughs> Thanks to you, Frexian Arena, I will lose a life down to 32. Oh, uh, Crim said something about back to basics. I don't know about that. I'm back he's going to back to basics. <laughs> I'm going to play I need you to understand. It, like, fierce guardianship, force of will. I just want to have fun. How do you feel about fun, all you blue players with mana up? Huh? Not good, I, I assume, I'm a right? huge advocate for fun, actually. All right, I'm going to play, uh, I'm going to tap my bounce land, play another talisman, the, the blue black talisman. Fun, you hit me for like a million. I mean, I, this is what my deck's supposed to do. So I got to, I can't not do the thing the deck's supposed to do. I'm going to tap four more mana. I'm going to play a spark double. <laughs> when it enters the battlefield, it gets to copy something of my, of my choosing. <laughs> I'm just going to make my spark double a copy of the Valyard, so I have two Valyards. Can you do that with Greaves? Oh, no, it doesn't target. It just Yeah, yeah it yeah. doesn't target, just, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the yeah. spark double is going to be another Valyard, and then, here's the real fun. I've been, Are we dead I've been here? dying. I get a, no, <laughs> I, you know, well, oh, yeah, it gets a maybe, counter. maybe. I get a plus one, plus one counter on my spark double because, I don't know, it was designed in resolve. the spark power double creep era. I got nothing. I'm going to tap my last four mana. This is the real fun. I would like to cast a card called Ensnared by the Mara. It's a card from Doctor Who. What this card says is each opponent is a villainous choice. They exile cards from the top of their library until they exile a non-land card, and then I get to cast that card for free, or that player mills four cards, and they take damage equal to the total mana value of the exiled cards. So how does this work with your two Veil Yards? Here? Okay, so we have two Veil Yards. So uh, what the Veil Yard says, if an opponent would face an uh, a villainous choice, they face that choice an additional time. So ensnared by Mara, you would actually have to make the choice three times, once for itself, and then once for oh. each of the Veil Yards. <laughs> I'm going to pay two mana and play a reprieve on this. Return target spell Wait. to its honor's hand. <laughs> okay, it's okay, we got, we got one turn to kill Seth here. Okay, so I'm definitely trying to kill yeah. Phil because he doesn't like fun. Um, <laughs> the wild go. idea of fun you've got there. You're passing after that? It well, seemed like tapped out, yeah. Too I'm much passing. Right. One, one, two, three, oh, four, five, so six. Yeah. All right, all right, let me, let me ask you all a question. <laughs> do we like fun? Are we dead? Do, you, yes. do we like fun? But Phil is tapped out, if, so maybe no one has if, a choice about fun. <laughs> what if this fun helps move the needle, but you cannot kill me? Is it do not hit ring? me for playing it. No, no. Oh, wait, the no, ring. no, 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 no. <laughs> if it's so scary, you got to politic over it. It makes me feel like I, mean, I should not say yes to your deal because you well, know it's really scary. Because why else you trying to get this promise? <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you, Seth. The game plan here is so that I just don't die first. And this definitely makes sure that y'all want to keep me around. Oh, okay. What is this? I'm so confused. Well, hey, uh, then. all right. All right. Well, I'm going to just do it. It's going to be fun. You have an island, right? <laughs> I, I do. Yes. There's Wait. Is that island. Quicksilver font? Oh, no, whatever. I think so. No, wait, no, it's going to turn everyone's lands into island. Coat of arms. <laughs> no, it's a coat of arms. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, th this is what you meant by fun? This is what yeah. you meant by fun? Oh, it's fun. This just means everyone's about no, to it die. Pumps you or too, though, Richard. Am. Does the does this yeah, result? <laughs> don't worry, I don't play too many. He doesn't currently have island yeah. walk. Green <laughs> I do have island walk, so you're not going to kill me, right, Phil? You're not no, going to lower my health. Not you're not going to do anything Wait, weird. Who's agreed to this? Then, <laughs> you're just going to play coat arms and hope no one attacks you after you pump all their creatures. What kind of plan? <laughs> That's is that? why I'm doing it because the thing is, I don't think this is how coat of arms works. <laughs> no, yeah, I did this is so that we can make sure that Seth's double veil yard doesn't wreck us. Well, I mean, that's if you swing your team into Seth. That's what I'm doing, and then. I'm going to just send one measly little friend elsewhere so I can get an artifact. How much board do you have there, Seth? Let me see here. So everything of mine gets plus four, plus four. I have two four fours and a five, six, and a six, seven. I'm going to send Thada Adele 
at Richard's deck because I just want to hit excess. Why are you oh, hitting? Oh, oh, we're hitting. We're hitting. I, are you sure? Because I, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Like I don't. I don't feel so safe right now, Richard. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, you're not gonna hit me then, right, Richard? Are you guys really just gonna make deals? Wait. Take me out and leave Krim alive. I, I'm gonna the say, plan? Hey, I'm gonna make no deals. But you, you have seen my line of thought, and I will see what it looks like when I get to my turn. All right, so that's the classic Richard. I'm going to full send it, Richard. Okay. Wow. Wow. I'm going to draw a card, and I'm going to just So I will eat the two merfolk I can eat. I'm assuming these two, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. They're both six power, so I take... Yeah. Wait, so Swaylun isn't indestructible anymore? Not anymore, no. I will look through... I need need to see your deck, Richard. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, okay. Choose an artifact. Uh, I'm going to take Richard's boom pile. <laughs> wow, There's a 50% a chance message. I cast it and it does nothing. That sends exactly. a message. But I'm not even going to give you, after I die, I'm not going to give you the option to clean sweep the board. I'm going to take that from you. And I can't cast it. Cycle. All right, take I go to turn. discard. I discard. This Phil win. <laughs> I still only play you a, a coat of arms helping you. Chris you got a coat of arms and a bunch of two twos. That's another Grism. Okay, so but they're not the same like If you coat. kill the guy with coat of arms, <laughs> then you no longer have a coat of arms. Time for my second commander. Two mana. Folk hero. Commander creatures you own have. Whenever you cast a spell that shares a creature type with this creature, draw a card. Are we going to storm off? Is it bear yes, storm time? Yes. Oh, yeah. Bear <laughs> storm, baby. He is a... I mean, that is just beautiful. He is a portal grizzly bears. Okay. What a beauty. Ooh, and I, that looks I learned good. cast trick. I learned recently that those cards are like ungodly expensive. Like yeah. for and some reason I, those this one was comments cheap, from Portal. Yeah. Then I draw a card with Guardian Project. How's oh. Phil doing Phil things with the bear deck? I know. He finds a way. <laughs> <laughs> He's drawn so many cards. And I find a way. I'm going to play a Rune Claw bear. It's a two mana two two. Wow. Yo, those that. bears are swole right M11. now. M11. Falker, you already triggers, triggers once each turn. I'm going to play a overgrown farmland. Untapped. So this is only a 4-4. Four, four. Wow, that's depressing. So it can only attack Krim. Oh, wow. Krim, that's, I'm sorry. I'm gonna well, okay, so you're gonna, let me get this straight. You're going to break the deal, right? <laughs> There's no deal. He said he wasn't going to kill I, you. I, 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 you. You I, know I the viewers the can print. skip back. I put the, yeah, exactly. So they, the fine print is right there. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. I just want to draw a card. You okay. attack me with your commander to draw a card. So four, okay. and okay. that's a three, three. So that's seven. Four of this is commander damage, and I draw a card. Somehow this uh, oh yeah, like what this was way better for me than it should have. I was thinking I was dying <laughs> um, like two minutes ago, and now I haven't even had a chance. Yeah, I, I I want you to kill everyone because I have been dumpstered this whole game. So uh, I, I will and do everything. I'm I this is gonna... all your own doing. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? I played it because I gotten. said. What did I say? And, uh, uh, no, whatever. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'm going to search the compass. Uh, kill me. I just want to have fun. <laughs> no, 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 no. R- Richard can kill me. And, oh, then, I I want, and yeah. then I want you to get re- vengeance and blow up the board. <laughs> yeah, see, you can still trust me, Krim. You might not be able to trust uh, oh. Richard or Phil on your deals, but I got you. I'm, I'm going to give you all my cards. If That's I, if because Seth is winning it. He wants, like, you somehow became arch enemy, yet established <laughs> no damage this entire turn. Didn't waste a single card. <laughs> if I kill Krim, then Phil will kill me. So the answer is we just keep everyone alive. Krim, are we yeah. cool? I'm not trying to kill you. I just yeah, want to... The only cool. person that has done me wrong in this turn now. cycle so far is Phil. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do the correct thing. <laughs> I if, just if wanted people to draw. kill me, people kill me, okay? Seth, two at this. So uh, a four, seven, and an eight, eight. Fours, you control that menace. They both have menace. So your captain's the four, seven, right? Yes. I'll just put both in front of the, the haunted whore and take four from the captain. Okay, I am going to use Shadow Heart's ability to sack haunted horror. To draw eight. Okay, this all kind of sucks. That's a lot of cards. Uh, <laughs> four. So you exile four, <laughs> or you exile three, or sorry, mill three, and I can cap. I can cast on my end step a creature or artifact. Wait, am I taking three then? Because you sack the horror. Okay, so I yeah. will take three and then mill three. Model of unity. Uh, joy disruption and cohesive portal. I'm going to play an island. 15 cards in hand. Okay, we got to start unloading some of the stuff. So Wayfarer's Bobble. Mm-hmm. Useful. And then Krim's going to kill us all, mm-hmm. maybe. Bro, wh- <laughs> <laughs> That's too much. <rough. laughs> <laughs> I don't think What? what? All right, psychic Corrosion. Where? Whenever you draw a card, each oh. opponent puts the top two cards of uh, their library into their graveyard. 
Are you a mill deck? You're an actual mill deck. And so step. I have. There's only. Wait, there's a second one. I'll take the board wipe one. The portal. I'll, okay. Yeah. Phil, do you have any responses? Nah, that's fine with me. Okay. All and right. then so I'm going to discard the to hand size and I'm going to put a portal into play. I drew a million cards and played nothing. So compass flips. Island, crawl from the cellar, polluted delta, Agni's awakening, Mordavar, and Orbor, a tomb of Yagni. Morty! Go ahead. Uh, Does this trigger the confounding conundrum if the compass flips? No. no. It, it, it's because it's a transform. It's, it's not, not an exile, exile and return oh, okay. or anything. Yeah. Draw two and lose a life thanks to Phyrexian Arena. I'm going to play Morphic Pool as my land for the turn. Phil has two mana. Krim has no mana. I mean, I got it. I got to go for it. This is what I came here to do. I will tap uh, my two mana rocks in two mountains. We're going to run back last turn. I am going to cast Ensnared by the Mara. Same thing as last time. Villainous choice, either exile until you hit a non-land and I can play it for free if I want to, or mill four and you take damage equal to the total mana value. If it resolves, you gotta do it thrice because of my two value yards. All right, we are drown. going drown. to drown in the lock. Drown. So Richard cast so, drown in the lock. Counter target um, spell converted mana value less than or equal to the number of cards in the controller's graveyard. And response um, scavenging. <laughs> in response. <laughs> I'm going to cast Split Decision. Split Decision is a voting card. Two mana instant. It says choose target instant or sorcery spell. Starting with you, each player votes for denial or duplication. If denial oh, gets the no. most votes, it gets countered. If duplication gets the most votes, you get to copy that spell and you can choose new to uh, targets. And uh, if it's a tie, it goes to the copying. So I'm going to target your drown in the lock. So I think it shouldn't matter. If you vote for copying, I'll just copy the counter and counter the drown in the lock. If you vote for counter, then I'll counter the drown in the lock. Richard has it not that counter, please. <laughs> no, I I'm holding a colorless mana up. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Oh, well, no. here we go. So, when snared by the Mara, you're going to do this three times. Uh, let's do this in order. Krim, villainous choice, friend. Uh, give me a tally effect the... three times. Okay, a tally. So, yeah. So, one well, at actually, a time. Let's right? go around. All right. Yeah. yeah. There it is. One at a time, three times. What Central Deluge. Return each creature your opponent's control with oh, toughness God. X or less equal to its owner's hand, where X is the number of islands you control. I am going to cast it because it doesn't hurt anything. But uh, I think I get all three <laughs> spells first. So, yeah. now Phil. Now Phil's Phil. turn to make yeah. the villainous oh. choice for the first copy. I mean, I take the four cards for now. Okay. okay. I can choose every time, right? Yeah. So, if yeah, I, yeah, yeah. You get to choose I, again I the next round. Me. Yeah. All right. That's one. Oh, two, zero, zero, oh, three. Zero. Oh, oh, look at that. Four, baby. Oh, 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 yes. There it is. The trade. All right. Rich, you are getting get whatever's this? coming off. Easy Lab money. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> semi useful, I guess. Actually, they were exiled. So those two have been exiled so far. Round two. Back to you, Grim. Make a villainous right. choice. You can get off top of my deck. Shauna's Tidebinder. Okay. Ooh. Phil. Round two. I mean, I do play on the end version, but not on top of my deck. It's another land, Come baby. On. It's the wow. Oh, wow. Wow. I feel like this <laughs> is rare. Oh, oh hey, that version, helps. Actually. It's technically oh, another. That is the most expensive card in the day. Hey, you have a board one. And okay, a stuff. ten. So ten, ten. Ten at Phil. Not too bad. Richard. <laughs> All right. What are we doing? You get this. Surveyor scope. Hey, not very good. <laughs> uh, I love okay. that Richard and I are snap choosing. You can get our spells. <laughs> final, <laughs> final round. You can have a top of my card. Island. Find me side laboratory. Good. Find me something good. Deep actually hold on. Deep channel mentor. Oh, that's actually blue creatures good. you control can't be blocked or are unblockable. Wait, I thinned my deck so hot. Now it's gotta be spells. <laughs> so do I just <sighs> you get one. Come on, Seth. Come on, give me something good. Give, give me something good. Give me something good. That is the sort of yeah! piece of heaven. That's yes! like the best yes! possible yes! thing. Uh, that is probably the best card in my deck. Yeah, that is unfortunate. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, yes. All right, uh, you get the top. This is the last time, right? You get the top card. Come on, something good, Richard. Oh, no, Demonic Tutor. Oh! <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Oh, oh this is good. Oh, wow, failure busted. Yeah, so I don't think the order of the cards really, uh, really matters. So I will get Crim's Deep Channel Mentor, the Sword of Feast and Famine. I get a Tishana's Tidebinder. From Richard, I get a Demonic Tutor and... So you get a Lab Man, a Surveyor's... A Lab Man. A Demonic Tutor. So now I will... 
demonic tutor. You've got so much value. You should just concede. Oh, it's a courtesy. Well, hmm. <laughs> just retire. Actually, no, <laughs> I can just retire you from got. your magic career. <laughs> I will take the heat in the comments for playing this. I'm going to preface this by saying this is literally the only deck that I would play this card in because I'm playing literally every voting and villainous choice the card deck. that exists. Oh, no. uh, so there's only good. one deck that I would actually put this card that I'm tutoring up into. Oh, I think I know what it is. Uh, so what I'm going to do here, I figured I figured out I can get around Richard's uh, shenanigans. So I am going to spend two mana for my bounce land. I am going to put the Sword of Feast and Famine that I stole from Phil on the copy of the Veil Yard. So this is a Veil Yard with a plus one plus one counter and a Sword of Feast and Famine. And then I'm going to move this Lightning Greaves onto the Sword of Feast and Famine Plus one, plus one counter veil yard. Phil, do you have responses? Re any responses? <laughs> no. Okay, so I will go no. to combat. I'm just going to attack Phil since I'm unblockable and you have the highest life total. And you get we're nice enough to give me the sword. So it's a uh, six, seven plus the sword. So it's uh, an eight, nine pro black and green veil yard with the sword of feast and famine on it. Are you counting coat of arms too? But it's not your commander, right? It's the copy. Yes, the copy. counting the coat of arms. It's a copy, not commander sword. damage. And I discard sword of the enemies. And I'm going to untap my lands, which uh, is relevant to this plan. And then I, I feel... Take an extra just, turn. I feel a little <laughs> bad about this, but... Uh, it's expropriate. I'm going to one, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight mana in that pile, and nine mana because I misread my mana cost because I never played this card. Expropriate. <laughs> Council's dilemma. Wait, you guys vote for extra turns? Starting for you, each player votes for time or money. For each time vote, I get an extra turn. For each money vote, I get to steal a permanent owned by the person who voted for it. The bad news for all of you is the Veil Yard has two abilities. It makes you vote twice for villainous choices. It lets me vote an additional time for normal voting. I have two of those. So I get to vote first. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to vote time and then also time and then also time. And then uh, you can figure out what you want to do from there. Yeah, you're taking three extra turns. I, I think Three extra this. turns for sure. So he gets at least three. Wait, are we this, this, dead? Oh yeah, resolve. Oh. Yeah, he could just smack us three. Like he has three turns. Oh, I mean, if you have a counter <laughs> or something, by all means, like I didn't mean to. Rush. Oh, I don't have a don't, if you have don't interaction. You, no, no, that was. I have mana type <laughs> and reprieve in here. I don't run many counters, mana type so. would actually work right here because yeah. I am fully tapped out. <laughs> okay, that would be so, yeah, I so resolve. Hand. Yeah, it resolves. Okay, oh, I got time. Takes three extra turns. Time, time, time. Crim, I'll vote time. Hey, four extra Wait, no, 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 what, what? <laughs> no, I have to vote the other time, not time thing. No way. Actually, just I just take whatever. I think we give him time, actually, and hope he can't kill us. It doesn't matter. Because he can it take our permits, matter. like it the good ones. Matter. I mean, yeah. I'm pretty sure that I win because of this. On my watch, there's not going to be an extra turn, so I vote the other thing. Whatever. Yeah, I vote the other thing. Okay, so I will take uh, grizzly bears and... Wait, is this just What's your biggest respect? creature, Richard? Actually, Either my commander, the... which has an ability, or the horror. The captain is blue though, so it's unblockable if you get it. <laughs> okay, I'll take that. I'll take the I'll take the captain. I think I win from here with my team being unblockable. Wait, you really want the grizzly bear or all oh, the scavenging ooze? The scavenging ooze oh, actually has this. counters oh. on it. All right, I'll take the I'll take the ooze. The ooze is your biggest creature, right? Uh, yes. So my team is actually very large. I will untap. I'll draw two because of the very powerful Phyrexian Arena. I will lose a point of life. I am going to keep making you make villainous choices. One, two, three, four. We're gonna keep showing off uh, Doctor Who cards here as we try to close out this game. Oh, uh, I'm going to good. play Cyrax Commander. It's a, a four mana four two first strike haste. When it ETBs, each opponent faces a villainous choice. That opponent discards all the cards in their hand and then draws that many cards minus one, or you take damage equal to the number of cards in your hand. This triggers Once three again, times, right? This will happen three times, yes. Yeah, in response, I guess I'll do this heroic intervention before I discard my hand. Okay, and so you get my indestructible. Uh, too bad it's not the next five extra turns. I'm going to chuck oh. six. I draw oh. five. You guys yep. mill ten. Oh. oh. Okay. Oh. So this Wait, happens. Three don't times. I technically resolve? So technically, Grim that? is going to resolve, resolve first. first? Yes. Yeah, so no, no. Grim. I'm going to take seven three times. Oh. oh. So Grim's not going to take it. Grim's just taking and the you honorable, lose all his honorable way. And, you, and also, you lose my permanence. <laughs> okay. So Grim's going to die. I lose the mentor in this tide binder. Uh, 
<laughs> so now y'all can block. Oh, Krim. Wait, so I could... I need to just lie. take five three times. <laughs> you could take 15. No, I can't. If you wanted to. Nah, I'll discard a bunch of cool cards, but I I just want to draw. At so least. remember so what you discard one. this turn because it's relevant two. for his captain. Oh, yeah. So I draw before Richard Mills, I do all the drawing, right? Yes. So four and then down to one, two, three. And then I draw two as the cards that I may be untapped with. Very optimistic over here. I don't think it's going to happen, unfortunately. I mean, we might have been able to do it if Crim didn't give him an extra turn. <laughs> this is turn. And hey, I don't it's think okay. we'll see. I chuck a bunch of cards. Okay. Uh, so I draw five, you guys mill ten. So we mill ten. Uh, anything good. Wait, we put creatures and artifacts yeah, so by the side. Number two, number two, Richard. Oh, this happens again? Oh, this happens a total of three times because they have two value yards. So you got to make uh, the villainous choice three times. Mill them out. <laughs> <laughs> so we we mill again. We do five again, and then we draw four. You guys, so we mill, mill eight. eight. Okay. Okay. So then I draw three. You guys mill six. Mill six. Mill six. One, two, three, four, five, six. How, how many turns do you have? He still four. has three more. After this, this is number one. Yeah. Mm. Four mana. To cast a uh, Bond of Insight. Bond of Insight is everyone mills four, then I get back two instants and sorceries from my graveyard. <laughs> so everyone gets to mill four. One, two, three, four. Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. We're doing it. Oh, boy. We milled a Mizzix Mastery. <laughs> oh, my God. Richard's milling might actually not be <clears throat> as helpful as he was thinking. So I'm getting back Mizzix Mastery yep. Painful Truce. I'm going to cast the mm -hmm. Painful Truce for uh, three colors of mana and three life to draw three. One, two, three. Why is he still drawing cards? <laughs> Why, I just yeah, need you to die. All right, so we're going to go to combat. Uh, your things are literally two twos now, Phil, because Crim's gone. As they are meant to be, yes. Okay, as they're meant just to be. Just some bass. The Bond of Insight actually is supposed to go to Exile with my expropriate, so I'll put that down there. And Richard, you have no blockers. Okay, no Richard, I'm I'm just swinging everything. I have indestructible blockers. I like this sword, so I'm swinging mm -hmm. and this ooze better than Richard's cards. So I'm swinging everything at Richard. So you're taking 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31 points of damage. Okay, so I'm dead no matter what. So, so I think you take it. I will not activate you do it. Maze of it. So I will I will die and you lose my permanence. I will untap my lands because the sword hit. Oh no, the sword. <laughs> That's how everything stopped. Yeah, right. the sword actually is what allowed all this to happen. I think I die if I oh, get that sword off of it. <laughs> uh six mana. I'm gonna keep Dr. Who. I'm gonna play Missy. It's a four or five time lord. Whenever a non-artifact creature I control dies, I return to the battlefield face down and tapped as a two-two Cyberman. At the beginning of my end step, each opponent faces villainous joys. Each artifact creature I control deals one damage to that opponent, or I draw a card in chaos and suits, which isn't especially relevant because we're not playing plane shift. Okay. <laughs> but <laughs> Was wondering but, isn't chaos already ensuing yes chaos has ensued i'll use my bounce land to play a signet i'll use my signet in this land to play another signet and then i think i finally made it to the end of my turn so on the end of my turn missy is going to trigger i don't have any artifact creatures so i assume you just vote for the artifact creature one so nothing happens uh i will go to my my second <laughs> turn second why is it four why is expropriate a magic oh, card i'm actually Curious why expropriate exists. I feel bad. Yeah, we learned it's like play perfect. really broken cards. No matter what shell you put them in, they're still broken. Have we? <laughs> it's have we not learned this? Deck. It's a voting deck. How do you not play a voting card in a voting deck? Is there any way I can no survive? This? I don't think so. No. I don't see one. Right? No. no. And he just, just hits you. <laughs> is he, he just puts on his commander and hits you what three more times you die to commander damage it's turn two right <laughs> yeah can i scoop to this i i have to discard my hand because of the swords hits so even this if it makes you feel better i also anything. have archfiend of despair that's gonna double up uh, oh your that's damages. way better not nah, yeah so i'm gonna play I mean, that. i'm just gonna are you done <laughs> i will swing with yeah, every, swing with I everything will. blah 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 i mean i don't think there's any way you survive it <laughs> You need oh, to Fairy's Pro to phase out for his four extra turns. Yeah. <laughs> I that, that's I how you actually wait, get around this. Actually, doesn't that work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, like, Teferi's does. Pro doesn't work. Teferi's Pro would have Yeah, yeah. 
Is that the victory victory royale? That is victory. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. The, I don't even know how to do the Fortnite royale. dance. How do you do the Fortnite dance, Phil? You know, show me the Fortnite dance, Phil. <laughs> Only if I win with a Fortnite uh, I'm sorry. Okay, you gotta okay. watch the episodes. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Valleyard Voting. Wow. It actually is kind of interesting if you hit the right cards. That uh, that sword really, really did it there. But anyway, that has been our Commander Clash for today. Doing some Anything Goes action. Hope you all enjoyed the game. Uh, thanks for watching. We will be back next week as we start to explore murders at Karlov Manor. So make sure to come back for that. Uh, so again, thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed it. And this is a crew signing out.